In this lesson, we're going to be looking at katakana. Katakana are the symbols used to write foreign words or foreign concepts, names of countries, and sometimes names of people, obviously if they don't have a Japanese name. The katakana chart is very similar to the hiragana chart. We have the vowels a, i, u, e, and o. The next columns are exactly the same using the consonant and the vowel ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Very similar to the way the hiragana chart works. But we must remember that C is actually she, T is actually chi, tu is actually tsu, and the H is actually a fu, and then we have the n sound on its own, just like we do in hiragana. So if you know how to use the hiragana chart, you won't have many problems with the katakana chart either. We also have the voice marks, exactly the same as the hiragana did k becomes g, s becomes z, t becomes d, and with the h column, the h column, we can put a little circle for pa, pi, pu, pe, po, and voice marks for ba, bi, bu, be, and bo. Some of our rules with writing is also very, very similar to the hiragana chart. Except when it comes to long vowels. Long vowels in katakana are written with a hyphen or a straight line. For example, a pool, a swimming pool, is pu with a hyphen ru. Pu ru. The concept of a pair of jeans, jeans. The second vowel sound is a straight line. Cheese. Japanese people don't really eat a lot of cheese. No cheese in their traditional meals much at all. Cheese. If we're talking about a baseball team, we'd talk about a cheem. And if we're drinking some soup, it would be called soup. If you're going to a supermarket, it would be super. And of course, if you're playing a computer game, we'd call it a game. Game. All of these words have a long vowel, so we use the straight line. And super for supermarket actually has a long vowel for su and a long vowel for pa, meaning. Super. Supermarket. A double consonant is written the same way the hiragana did. We use a small ts to make the next letter double. Like chipusu. Once again, not a part of Japanese traditional food. Chipusu. Hot dog. Hot dog. Eaten now in Japan, but not traditionally. Kop. If you want to have a cup, you talk about a cup. Yotto. If you're sailing on the ocean, yotto. And sometimes you hear people say stop. Stop. Meaning stop. And one of the popular sports that was not played traditionally in Japan, futoboru. Futoboru. Remembering that the little tsu acts like a stop or a pause before you say the next letter. Chipusu, hot dog, kop, yotto. Stop and futoboru. Just like in hiragana, we can also use ya, yu, and yo to change the sounds of the katakana in the i row. Remembering, we can only use these with the i row. So we can make kya, kyu, kyo, sha, 
shoot, shot, etc. For example, in baseball, you often hear them say, shot, dot, shot, dot, good shot, shot, dot. If you like chocolate, chocoreto, chocoreto, cheat with the little yacht to make chop. Computer also has a peat with a little ute to make pew. Computer. We may talk about the captain of the team. Captain. The captain of the team. Captain. Kya, keep with a little ya for kya. So the variations used in hiragana are also used in katakana. There's one more rule that we didn't have in hiragana that does exist in katakana. And that is we can change the sounds of some of the katakana with vowels. Because there's a lot of English words with st strange sounds that don't exist on the hiragana chart. For example, if you want to make fa as a sound, for example, famicon, which is a Japanese word for a game console, like a Nintendo or a Sony PlayStation, famicon, fu with a little a, makes the fa sound. Fi doesn't exist on the hiragana chart, so we use a little i after fu to make fi. Like if your name is Filippo, Filippo, meaning Philip. You don't have a T sound in Japanese either, because remember it becomes chi. So to make the T sound, we do te with a little e being T. An example word would be tissue, tissue. Finally, there's not anything but wa on the katakana chart. So if we want to say we, the sound we, we use an u in our vowels and we add a little e to make we. So sometimes in katakana you can actually use the vowels to change the original katakana sound. If your name happens to be Wendy, you need to write it with an u, a little e, n, de, and a little e on the end to make the d sound. Wendy. Watch out for that in katakana because those variations can be a little bit complicated. But if your name is not a Japanese name, you would need to write your name in katakana. Finally, the countries all over the world except for China, Korea and Japan all have names written in katakana. Challenge yourself. Use your katakana chart which is downloadable as a PDF file and see if you can work out which countries are labelled on our map of the world. You may find Indonesia. You may also find America or Canada or Greenland and of course Australia. The more practice you do, the better your reading of katakana will become.